Hello, I'm Anthony Romrell. Welcome to CG for Me. We're going to rig our pig character. I'm going to start by selecting the character and creating a new display layer. And then I'm going to put it in template mode. I'll rename this layer Pig Mesh Layer. I'll hit save. This makes it so it's easy to see the rig, but I'm not going to interfere with the model. So one thing that's important to understand about Maya is joint orientation. So I'm going to build a joint chain. And I'm going to hold the X key and click four times to draw four joints using the joint tool. That's the joint tool right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm then going to go to Modify, excuse me, I'm going to go to Edit, Select Hierarchy. That's going to select the entire chain. And I'm going to go to Display, Transform Display, and Show Local Rotation Axes. So it's important to understand what joint orientation is. Joint orientation, basically orientation is like a second rotation value. So um, these rotation, these axes show us in which direction it's pointing. So if I rotate this, you can see the X is pointing down the chain and Y is pointing up in, in space and Z is pointing out. Now, the whole process, this the whole reason for this is so that when I rotate in X, no matter what position I'm in, it'll point, it'll rotate in a in a straight way. So if I rotate this in another one, X still rotates in a straight way. Without X pointing down the chain, I won't get this result. I'm going to undo this. <clears throat> So um, let me just show you again how I created this. Now Maya is in world space. You can see X is pointing in this direction, Z, and then Y. So I created this joint chain because I find that this is the easiest way to get started in rigging. And what it basically does is it automatically orients everything down the chain. So let me create this one more time so you can see. I'm just going to go to my joint tool, and I'm going to hold X, and I'm just going to snap to the grid. I'm going to create a clavicle a shoulder, an elbow, and a wrist. Normally we'd add a wrist roller too, but we'll save that for another time. And I'm going to select my hierarchy. I created some icons here. In order to create icons, you just come over to the menu system and you just hit edit and you hold down control and shift. And by selecting something like select hierarchy, it'll create an icon over here. So I've got an icon, and I hit Select Hierarchy, and then I'm going to turn on the same thing, Show Local Rotation Axes. And that's just going to show me, this is going to give me a way to know which direction X is pointing and Y. So for different pipelines, different companies use different things. In this particular pipeline we use here at Utah Valley University, we use X down the chain and Y pointing up. Z always goes positive. So, next step is to rename my joints. I'm going to name this clav underscore L and shoulder underscore L, elbow underscore L, and wrist underscore L. So I find that it's easiest just to take this chain and duplicate it for the other parts of the body. Say I'm going to create my back. So I'll just hit Command-D or Control-D if you're on the PC, and I'll move it over, and I'll name this for the leg. So I'll say hip underscore L and knee underscore L and ankle underscore L. And I don't need a toe for this particular character. 
if I needed it, I would name it toe underscore L, but I don't need it, so I'm just going to delete it and just have three in the chain. Next, I know I'm going to need a back, so I'm going to duplicate it and rename again. So this will be the lower back. This will be the middle back. This will be the upper back. I know I'm going to have the neck, so I'm going to duplicate this chain and name it neck one. This one I'll name neck two. And lastly, this will be named head. So there's a few more joints I'm going to create just independently. I don't need to duplicate the chain. I'll just go to my joint tool. And I'm just going to create one joint here. I'll call this the pelvis. And I'll duplicate it. And I'll name this one root. I will select both of these and show my local rotation axes. And there's a basic there's the joint chains laid out that I'm going to need to get started on my rig.